Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Charlie here, also known as a Poslo. And today, guys, I got something a little bit different. I've decided I'm gonna quickly go over a couple of my old montages. Like, why not? Thank you guys so much for the support on the last couple of videos. I think we broke around about 25 likes on the uh, top five clips of the week. I will be doing those every week as you guys absolutely love them. Also, thank you for the support on the KG4 montage response. Um, I think I got 50 likes right now, uh, almost 300 uh, views as well, which is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for that. Recently hit 900 subs, uh, hoping to ex like get to a thousand within the next two weeks or so, hopefully sooner. Uh, but I have got a 1K montage uh, in the process. That's mainly the reason why I went through these. I uh, thought they would bring back some memories and also give me a bit of ideas from what I did in the past, what I can bring to the new table basically. But yeah, we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, starting off with the very first montage I had ever done. And I believe it was on Ghosts. Uh, it was for a team me and two other of my mates made, uh, which at the time was called Flex Gaming then changed to flex sniping and then fortnite came out and we changed it to uh flex fortnite so original i know but anyway we're gonna go straight into the first one <coughs> incredible 3d text i'm not gonna lie um i think i used i didn't use after effects that much in this it was mostly um uh final cut pro i think final cut pro yeah, I think it's Final Cut, where the Apple software, I can't actually remember. Um, but as you can tell, I kind of blurred out all the edges. And that's only because of one of the clips. Um, and you'll see in a minute, it was a trick shot and it was on bots. And I didn't want anybody to notice that it was on bots, so I blurred the outside out. I know I'm terrible. But um, yeah, the 3D text is not great in this. I'm not going to lie. Cinematics changing. Uh, you can see I add an effect pretty much every single time um, it goes onto a different clip. I think, did I do one now? Yeah. Very nice. Um, but yeah, this was actually a montage I created for my college, um, for my um, college degree. Uh, I was able to make a video because I did games design and development or whatever. Um, I was able to create a gaming video, a uh, gaming video. So yeah, I went through that and decided to do Call of Duty because it was my favorite game, and I loved to edit. To be honest, I uh, hadn't really done any big montages like this until now, uh, until then. But uh... okay, so as you can probably tell. Uh, the beats have got a little bit bigger and you'll see the screen pump is so big and it's not dead center either it's like going up and oh, it's going everywhere but I feel like that's enough for this video I'm just gonna skip it ahead clips are terrible I don't think I added any cinematics into this but uh, I gotta show you that I gotta show you this let's just rewind that real quick all right, so this 3D text here, um, I didn't bother masking the truck out at all. As you can tell, ugh, terrible. The bevel on this is terrible. I just, it's the whole of the black outside, and it's kind of like, you can't even read this properly. It's like the whole line all the across there. It's just a terrible font as well. I tend to have more clear um, fonts nowadays. Easier to read. Um, I feel like I'm going to skip ahead and I don't have all my old uh, clips on here, my old montages even, but I've got a few, yeah, um, as you can see it's mostly for Flex, uh, which at the time was our team, introducing people, I will go with this, introducing Flex Sensei. I'm actually going to turn it up because I don't know if it's loud enough for you guys. I hope it is. I don't even know if it's going to change anything because it's doing it through my OBS right now. 
I feel like montages are dependent on their song. If it's a good montage, it's got a good song and good 3D text. This is where I kind of developed on my 3D text a little bit. Not so much bevel, more simplistic uh, fonts. But as you can tell in here, I don't know if this was 30 FPS or if it was in HD quality, but it looks very, very blurry. It's not clear at all. So this is where I actually started syncing the clips up much, much better. And obviously the clips are so much better because they weren't mine at the time. But still got the still got the um, screen pumps in there though. Not as big as the last ones, and they're pretty much more centralised. But not too bad. Let's see if we got any 3D text at the end. Have I? No. Okay, cool. So, for this one, 3D text is a little bit better. Um, I think I used After Effects for this. The whole thing. Um, as you can see here, they kind of like explode off. I kind of used Element 3D for that. Get rid of them. Uh, synced it up with the car. It's pretty cool. It's not too bad. Uh, I think with this, all the screen pumps were still too much. They just weren't needed as much. Uh, but I think for most of the kills, I had kind of like some kind of motion blur to them, every shot or something like that. But it's an improvement from the last one. I'm not going to go through all these now. I'm going to now skip ahead and... So that's Black Ops 2. I'm going to skip to this one. It's a quick OCE. Uh, the only reason why I'm showing this is because the... Um, the 3D text is just so much better than the rest. Um, I don't know if I added shadow. Yeah, um, no. But yeah, in this, I don't know why, but it just looks more cinematic. Um, I think I added some kind of effect to make this blur around the top here. Um, it'd have been so much better if I'd have added a bit of a shadow down here, which you'll see in other montages that I do. Um, yeah. And, and it was my first one where I used uh, actually tracked it into the dude running. Which is quite cool. But yeah. Everything else is not the greatest to be honest. Added some kind of gun effect there. But yeah. Alright so we got that one. I'm going to... I kind of want to skip ahead. All right, we're going to go to Advanced Warfare now. Quickly run through these. So this is still in flex. Uh, this is where my motion track, um, my motion text actually went in and actually looks half decent. I think I added a bit too much specular on that or reflection even. But this is where I added like a, a dark kind of shadow behind the text. <coughs> It gave it a cool effect, not gonna lie, but not bad. I mean, I still think throughout the whole of these older montages, my syncing up isn't the greatest. There's not much flow to it. I think mostly it was down to me not using Twixter at the time, and I was just using the uh, remap. But yeah, obviously better clips as we go through these. So that was a mixture of Advanced Warfare, uh, MW2 or MW3, and Black Ops 2. Go on to one of my recently edited clips, which is this one. Let's quickly make this big screen. If it's going to work, yeah, nice. So before I start, this is still probably my best edit until this 1k so be ready when i hit 1k that day or the day after depending on when i recently uploaded the previous video um i will be uploading my 1k so be ready for that subscribe notifications all right so this i sent out this video uh, to a couple of like other community channels where they uploaded people's montages, top five 
montages of the week or whatnot. So similar to the clips, but edits. And the reason why this edit uh, got so high up on some of those top fives or got into those top fives was because of my motion tracks. So this one here took me a while. Um, it, I don't know, it just looks so clean. Yeah, I feel like um, it syncs up a lot more better as well in this um, video compared to all the rest. There is still the screen pumps, eh, kind of adds to it a little bit, adding those 3D text halfway through. And of course the cinematics guys, they make the video so much better. So you'll see a bit um, motion track in a sec. I believe I did that in Cinema 4D. Um, I can do tutorials on all these effects. If you like want me to do a tutorial on a certain effect, so say syncing up better in BO2 or how to create this 321 uh, text, I can show you easily how to do that. Not a problem. Uh, also, this shot here is probably one of my favourites, as the heads, um, not the heads, heads, but the headshots, like symbol, logo, whatnot, uh, kind of like pops up every time he gets the headshot. As you can see there, it's quite cool. Goes up and spins. But yeah, still think to this day that is my best. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see the rest of my montages and me reacting to them, uh, I'd be very much down for that. So leave a like. If this gets above 25 likes, I will do another one of these videos. So yeah, thumbs up on that. Uh, comment down the section below what montage you thought was the best even though I don't think any of the ones previously to this one was actually any good but uh, if you want to see me do some editing tutorials on certain bits that you saw in this video uh, just comment in the section below on the time frame um, within this video and the effect you want to see but yeah that's about it guys please subscribe if you're new as we are getting closer and closer to 1k so you'll be ready for that 1k montage but yeah, anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah subscribe